Thanksgiving vocabulary. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy, remember that from when we signed Halloween's two fives, brush up your chest twice. Then you're gonna do thanks, two fives, the fingertips are on your chin, they pull out, go to flat O's and to give, sign to give. So Thanksgiving. So I make two flat O's like this and they bump out and get open everybody. Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. Fall, leaves, my dominant one is in my wrist and it wiggles back and forth. Pilgrims, Indians, prayer, holiday, shopping or shopping, football or football, two different ways to do it. Celebration, it's two X's, it can be here, it can be up here, it just doesn't, you know, celebrate. It's kind of hard to see because I'm short, you know, seeing that. <clears throat> Family, gathering. So you're here, two F's pointed out, they pull back. Pinkies touch, and then you're going to come in together, gathering. See how my fingers, they wiggle, they're on either side of my shoulders, and they wiggle in and together. Family gathering. Um, and then sail is, you just finger spell, sail, S-A-L-E, towards your body. So if you're right-handed, you're going to go in, S-A-L-E. If you're left-handed, S-A-L-E. That's how it goes in toward my body. Um... You have food, so it's a flat O and it touches your mouth. It also means eat. So after Thanksgiving break, one of the things that we're going to, one of the first listed things we're going to do is talk about what you ate over Thanksgiving break. So my Thanksgiving break, me eat. So eat and food are the same things. So remember that for afterwards. JK, I'll remind you. Feast, it's just to continuously eat. Turkey, it's a Q, it's at your chin, pulls down twice. It also is the animal because obviously it's you know sometimes foods and animals they um, the signs are different but for this instance turkey is turkey. Um, the sign for vegetables is a V that twists in my cheek twists twice vegetable green beans salad take two claws they interconnect and then they go up salad. Corn. Now you have to be careful with corn. I'm going to get a little closer so you can see. So see how it starts palm down, right? It's out my mouth. It twists in. If it goes straight across, that's the sign for toothbrush. So you want to make sure that you're twisting corn. See how it twists and it goes to the back of my hand? So here it's up palm down. But then as I twist, now you can see my ring. You can see the back of my, or the back of my hand and the front of my hands touching. Corn. Think about eating a corn and cob and how you twist it. Corn. Stuffing is finger spell. Sandwich, so you have your, do there's two different ways. Dominant five, non-dominant's on the inside. Do you see how it is? Thumbs are out. Bend them in half, eat. Or your dominant hand can go inside a non-dominant duck hand and eat this way. I use them both interchangeably. Sometimes I do this one more than others just because it's easier. But, you know, it's either this or this. No matter, it's a bent five going towards your mouth. Potatoes. And then if you want to describe the potatoes, you'd sign potatoes, mashed. Potatoes, sweet. Okay? Potatoes, cheesy. Okay? Too the heels of my hands are going to squeeze for cheese. But potato is a bent V, stabs twice. Um, and then, like I said, mashed, you just kind of like, you've got like a bug or something. Remember that? Smash it up, the baby bumblebee song? I don't know. Just a mom. But anyways, so you don't make that smashing, so it's potatoes. Mash. You can see how I'm moving my hands back and forth. Make sure they stay this way. If it's this, it's traffic. You don't want to sign potato traffic. You want to sign mashed potatoes. Um, and then sweet, it's an H. Sorry, it's a sign for honey. Um, gravy, it's a G, dominant G, and it's going to peel off your non-dominant hand. I joke that it's like peeling skin off it. Blech, how gross is that? All right. Pie. So you take your dominant five, you cut your hand down ways, and then you cut your hand long ways. Pie. And then you sign apple, which we know from Halloween, that X goes into my cheek and it twists twice. Pumpkin, it's that P, tap, tap. Cherry, so you take a dominant C, you're going to twist at your ring, fi ring finger, and you're going to twist at your pinky. Cherry. Cherry. And then pecan would be nut, and then you'd speak finger spell pecan. So you take your thumb now and you click on your, on your teeth. And then you finger spell pecan. Send for nut. 
And then to get specific, walnut, almond, pistachio, uh, pecan, whatever type of nut you're talking about, you would go and then you would finger spell which one it is. Um, other types of pies, when you get back or remind at me and ask, um, different types of pies and things, these are one of them. These are just more popular ones that we've talked about in class um, over the years that I have collected. But if there's berries or coke, like other berries or coconut or strawberry or banana cream or whatever, first of all, Lucky Ducks because I like coconut cream pie. That's my favorite. That's HK's favorite. No matter. Um, but there are signs for all of those. So make sure that you have that, um, that you get that for the assignment. So again, should you need anything? Please let me know, either remind up or ask in class. I have found that with being on hybrid, that it is much easier to get a hold of me uh, through the remind up than it is for emailing or just asking me in class is even the easiest um, because I'm not always checking my email, but with the remind up, it comes on my phone or my watch it pops on my phone. So it like kind of lights up and it also comes on my computer. Um, but emails don't come that way. Um, so that's that. So that was the Thanksgiving vocab. Make sure that you know it all and you took all the notes and you have a great Thanksgiving.